Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski and I am the owner of Quality Business Plan. And what I'd like to do today is to give you all some tips and tricks on how to write a meat market or butcher shop business plan, as well as how to construct a basic financial model that will help you all identify what your revenues need to be, as well as your costs in order to achieve your net profits. All right, so the way this video is going to work out is first and foremost, I'm going to give you all a little bit of background about me, who I am, what I do and why I do it. From that point in time, we're then going to dive into a couple of tips and tricks to use when writing your meat market or butcher shop business plan. And then from that point in time, we'll wrap it up and call it a day. All right. So as promised a little bit about me, I am a professional writer, specifically a business plan writer. So if you all do need some help writing your business plan, please pick up the phone, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. I'd be absolutely delighted to write your business plan for you. If you do want to write your own business plan, you know, at least use one of my books. I've got a few books published on Amazon.com focused on how to write business plans for various industries as well as general business plan writing books. And those books will just give you all some tips and tricks and again, and how to write each section of the business plan. You can check those books out on Amazon.com. Just go to Amazon, plug in my name, Paul Borowski, MBA, and voila, you'll have a wide selection of books to choose from. And then finally, a little bit of education about myself. I am an adjunct professor and subject matter expert for both business and finance. So I do have some academic um, credentials uh, behind some of my thoughts and ideas for writing business plans. And then finally, if you all do need some help with your financial projections, your business plan is all good to go. You need some help with those pesky numbers. I'm the man for the job. Again, pick up the phone, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. Be delighted to do your financial projections for you. All right. So with that said, tip number one, when you are writing your meat market or your butcher shop business plan, uh, make sure to discuss your core products. Are you going to be, is your core products going to be chicken, beef, and pork? Or are you going to have fish and lamb as well? So whatever your 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 Whatever your core product is, whatever your main revenue generators are going to be, make sure to discuss that as, you know, as well, you know, your, your core revenue generators. So make sure you have a specific section in there and, and you know, talk about those. And, you know, is your chicken going to be fresh or is it going to be frozen? Um, same thing with the beef and the pork. So, you know, make sure not only to just say that you're going to be carrying chicken, beef and pork, you know, but is it going to be frozen or is it going to be fresh? And, you know, is, is there anything going to be cooked? You know, so whatever that is, you know, make sure to discuss your products um, in, you know, in, you know, be succinct, but, you know, definitely don't leave any critical details out also in your core competencies make sure to touch on any kind of specialty offerings you're going to have for example you may carry wet goo boo way go way goo beef you might have homemade sausage or you could even sell meatloaf i've seen a couple of uh, meat markets selling meatloaf so whatever that is you know whatever your specialty offerings anything above and beyond what a traditional butcher or what a or traditional meat market would carry um, if, if you're going to engage in those um, competitive advantages make sure to document those as well and then finally uh, when you're writing up your business plan uh, make sure to include some statistics in there um, especially in the company description section but also throughout the business plan as as a whole you know so for example the meat market uh, the meat market industry last year generated 6.7 billion dollars in revenues the historical growth rate annually for the last five years was a negative 1.6 percent however here here's a kicker the revenue projected for the next um, several years annually is a growth rate of 1.4 percent so this industry is projected to grow so it is definitely something to take a look at and so some of the you know two reasons to include these statistics first when you add statistics to your business plan it shows that your business plan is backed up by research so you're going to add credibility to the plan next you are writing the plan or you're having someone write it for you but you're going to be supplying them with information and so this shows that you are an expert in the industry you've done the research you understand the, the meat market industry and now you are conveying that information in a well-written business plan so you got a, uh, you got a couple of, uh, you get a couple of benefits at the very least of using these uh, statistics in your business plan all right tip number two is a financial projections so for financial projections you know we're not going to get into a, a huge full um just you know huge blown up model of talking about you know you know where your revenues are coming from you know month-to-month -month projections and so on and so forth however 
a very basic financial model such as this that's going to help you identify how many customers you need and what the sales price needs to be and what your variable costs and your fixed costs need to be in order to achieve your profits. So the way this model is broken down is I've got it into three sections. I've got it into your revenue section, your fixed cost section, and then your monthly profit section. And for this right here, if you construct if you construct it the way I've got it shown here, what you're going to be able to do is identify the number of customers you're going to be servicing, the average sales price, and the average variable cost. Once you have these three variables, you can then calculate your gross profits, and you know then add in to multiply those gross profits by the days of the month, and that's going to give you your monthly gross profits. So just based on three variables we are able to um, get a good idea of what our monthly gross profits are going to be. The next step is to gather together all of your fixed costs, you know, whether it be labor, la labor um, la lease, whether it be your lease, your labor, utilities, marketing, supplies, accounting, legal, insurance, miscellaneous, whatever your fixed costs are going to be, make sure to get those together in the second section and add those up as well. Once you have those two segments together, all you're going to do then is just subtract your monthly gross profits from your monthly fixed costs, and that's going to give you your net profits. Once this model is established, now you've got some, now you, what you can do is you can go in here and you can change the number of customers, you can change your sales price, you can change your variable cost, and when you start changing some of these items, your net profits are going to automatically calculate for you. So it's a great little structure for you all to develop and use. And so where you just don't have to go into a full blown financial model, yes, it's going to give you a real good idea of what your profits are going to be based on, you know, your customer expectations. All right. So hopefully this information was helpful. So in summary, when you're writing your business plan for your butcher shop, um, butcher shop or your meat market, be sure to follow up a, a proven format. You can go to the SBA website and you can download one of their templates that's good for well it's, it's good for a meat market you can also use it for a um, car manufacturer and you can use it for a lawn service and you can use it for a restaurant so it's a lot it's, it's, a, it's a huge document that has multiple um, faucets and multiple multiple uses but you have to then go through the document and figure out what you need what you don't need and then from there you know, construct your business plan. It's almost easier to start from scratch. So just, you know, be careful with the, the templates that you use. Next, keep the star of the show as the business. Keep the star of the show as the butcher shop or the meat market. When you start talking about your yourself or you start talking too much about the location, and I mean like you know, a lot about the location, or you really get into the process of, the, of butchering, you're going to lose the flavor of the, the business as a, a whole. So, you know, keep your segments, keep your, you know, your, your different aspects of the business, keep it succinct, but make sure it's always focused on a business. Don't go into, you know, when you were in a kid and, and you grew up on a farm and, you know, and, and give us a 15 page, you know, a biography, you know, this information is, is good succinctly, um, you know, and maybe even into appendix. But again, I can't stress enough too many times I get a business plan and it's all about the owner make sure it stays focused on the on the business itself and then finally if you all do need some help with your business plan uh, reach out give me a call send me a text send me an email i'll be delighted to help however i can whether it be through me writing the custom business plan for you or you can also purchase one of my templates focus on a meat market and you can get that right here qualitybusinessplan.com forward slash meat market business plan template uh, you can purchase one of those or if you want a custom business plan written just go to my website qualitybusinessplan.com forward slash business plan prices number three and once you go there you'll be able to view some of my um, pricing packages to see if they're affordable um, for yourself so hopefully this video was helpful and um, you know as always you know have a great day and you know go out and make a little bit of money thank you